Do you want a better way to protect your stuff? We've got the AP501 Digital Deadbolt from Synect on this episode of Gadget. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, and Gateway. Hiya, and welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I am your host, Father Robert Balasar. I'm a Catholic priest in the Society of Jesus. That's a religious order of the Catholic Church. And we are here, not in Hawaii, but in Henderson, Nevada, just outside of Las Vegas, where um, I've just had a couple of days of silent retreat, and now we're ready to get you the tech that you want. Now, if you remember a couple of episodes ago, we took a look at the Mikey 2300, It was a digital RFID lock, a deadbolt. It was actually quite nice. I mean, for the price point that it was selling for and for how easy it was to install, it provided a lot of security and a lot of convenience in a very small package. Now, although we enjoyed this lock, there was a complaint that it just wasn't heavy-duty enough. I mean, it wasn't designed to be an external lock. It wasn't really designed to to, to be put through the abuse and the rigors of, well, let's just say a harsh working environment. I mean, it was still a very secure lock, and it still worked very well. But some of our viewers wanted something that, oh, I don't know, could take the torture of, uh, well, what Uber geeks go through. And that's why we brought in the AP501 from Synect. Now, the AP501 isn't just a beefed-up version of the MyKey 2300, but it's a completely redesigned lock from the ground up that's designed to give you not just the convenience of having an RFID and keypad uh, opening for your deadbolt, but also to give you that layer of protection, that extra security of having a super strong, super sturdy, super solid lock that uh, will protect you in, in all cases. Now, we've actually had about three months to use this because we, we wanted to put it through the tortures of having it installed in a real-world environment, especially someplace like Hawaii, which, with the humidity and the heat, tends to wreak havoc on electronics. And, well, um, this is what we found. Out of the box, the AP501 includes a lot of hardware that anyone who has ever installed a deadbolt will immediately recognize. And that's a good thing. You see, the guys at Synect wanted the AP501 to be as easy to install as possible. So aside from the internal and external deadbolt enclosures being larger and filled with electronics, the AP501 should install like a regular deadbolt. The batteries in the AP501 should last about a year under normal conditions, but it also has two alternate sources of power in case the internal batteries die. There are two small terminals on the outside of the lock just below the keypad where you can attach a 9-volt battery to temporarily power the lock. There is also a header inside the lock that allows you to power the unit with building power. Installation is simple. We decided to replace an existing deadbolt with the AP501 in order to make deployment that much easier. We removed the old deadbolt, slid in the parts from the AP501, tightened everything up, and were finished with the physical installation in about five minutes. Sonic also includes a set of templates for those who need to drill their own mounting holes. But if you're replacing an old lock, the AP501 couldn't be easier to install. Once the physical setup is complete, you only need to program the access options. For security, the buttons to initiate the access programming are located within the battery compartment on the inside of the lock. To register one of the RFID key tags, you press the key registration button and you will hear two beeps. You then touch the key tag to the tag sensor on the outside of the lock and you will hear another two beeps. You can repeat the process for up to 20 key tags before pressing the key registration button once more and hearing three beeps. That's it. Your RFID key tags have now been authorized to open the lock. To set up the passcode, you press the passcode registration button. Wait for two beeps, then enter a 3 to 20 digit passcode. One more press of the registration button will reward you with three beeps and your AP501 is now ready to accept the PIN through the keypad. To unlock the AP501 from the outside, you can either touch an authorized RFID key tag to the sensor, or you can enter in your PIN by sliding up the keypad cover. From the inside, you can open and close the AP501 deadbolt via the open-close button or by using the manual override thumb turn. 
The AP501 supports an auto-lock mode, which will automatically lock the door two seconds after it's closed. You can disable the auto-lock with a switch on the inside, but we found it to be a very useful feature. So far, the AP501 has been shown to be an easy-to-install, easy-to-configure, and easy-to-use digital deadbolt solution, but that's not why you would buy this unit. The AP501 is marked as a hardened, advanced protection lock. So, how does it fare against a typical assault? First things first. Since the AP501 doesn't have any tumblers or cylinders, it can't be picked. It's weatherproofed and fully functional in temperatures from minus 35 to 130 degrees Fahrenheit. The AP501 had no trouble operating in the hot and humid temperatures of our lab in Hawaii. Also, since the casing is electronically isolated from the electronics, it can't be shocked, glitched, or otherwise hacked by voltage spikes up to 15,000 volts. Sunact has also included a neat little security feature in that you can enter as many numbers on the keypad as you want, as long as you end with the proper pin. This is useful if you are in an environment in which you are afraid that someone might be looking over your shoulder to steal your pin. That's the normal stuff. Now what about the crazy stuff? In our test, the zinc alloy and steel construction of the AP501 made it nearly indestructible to threats that it might possibly face. It was impractical to drill, even with specially drill bits that have been designed to cut through steel. That same solid construction made it almost indestructible in the face of hammers, saws, and crowbars. For those who want a little more proof of the durability of the AP501, the boys at Senect arranged to have it shot, several times, by a variety of caliber rounds. Though the locks were dented and scratched, they remained functional and the doors remained locked. The AP501 is backed by Senect for two years and is available at www.ap501.com for $300. You know, it really is amazing how much abuse these units can handle. I mean, everything from being hit by a sledgehammer to being racked on by a crowbar, being drilled and, and chiseled, it, it's just a really strong product. And you can tell that the guys over at Senect have put a lot of time and thought and effort into making not just a digital deadbolt that has a steel shell, but something that is going to last. I mean, I think the biggest testament for the AP501, aside from being shot at and being hit with hammers and saws and drills, is the fact that it went through three, four months of operation in Hawaii with no trouble. And this is in an area where it's notoriously bad for electronics. The humidity and the heat and the volcanic ash tend to just make things die. I mean, I'm used to swapping out electronics. I'm used to having to blow out volcanic ash. I'm used to having to troubleshoot electronics every once in a while because gremlins seem to sneak in whenever the humidity rises. That never happened with our installed AP501. Now, you will notice all the cool little touches that they've included. You know, everything from the rubber grommet that, that really does a good job of sealing in and sealing out the moisture. Uh, the the, the double-shelled uh, deadbolt receptacle, which shows that Senect actually has an understanding of, of how these locks work and, and how, that you, how you need to install them in order to give you the maximum amount of strength and security. Now, I, I do have to put a disclaimer on this and say that if you've got a door that is a thin hollow core with a balsa wood type frame, well, this is not for you. Because what's going to happen is the, the uh, AP501 is going to be indestructible, but someone's going to put their foot through your door and be able to open it up anyways. What you want is a strong solid core door, or maybe even a steel door, or even a gate, and uh, a nice solid frame that someone's not just going to be able to tear down. If you've got that and you install one of these AP501s, you've got a nearly indestructible uncircumventable security system that is at the same time very easy for you to access. There is something to be said about having an electronic lock. You know, the ability to give somebody uh, a, a PIN number that you change after they're gone so that you can sort of, you know, let guests in when you, when you want to. to. To have that sort of ease of access and yet security at your home or your office or, or wherever. Now, if you are looking for security, if you already have a nice security system in place and you want something to complement it, to be the showpiece of your security, then might I suggest you take a look at the Synect AP501. You can find uh, this lock and all of its stats and, and many of the videos that you've seen in this episode of Gadget at their website at www.ap501. You'll also be able to buy the AP501 in three different finishes from, I believe it's nickel and satin and, uh, well, one other. And, uh, well, just give them a look. 
they might have something that you need for your Uber Geek security. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. If you want to find out more about the AP501 or any of the gadgets that we've taken a look at on this show, please feel free to go to our website at www.thetechstop.net. If you click on the Gadget tab, you'll be able to find links to all of our episodes in high resolution. If you want to send us an email message, you can reach us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Ballaser. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber geek without you. Thank you.